Hi there, I'm Charles Maxson and I'm a developer advocate for Google Workspace. In this video, I'll walk you through setting up PagerDuty for Google Chat and cover some of its key features to help you start using it like a pro. Before you begin, here are some of the things you'll need to get started. You'll need admin permissions to install apps for Google Chat on your domain, and you will also need access to a PagerDuty account with admin or account owner permissions. In this quick video, you'll learn how to find and install PagerDuty for chat, how to set up the app, use some of its key features, and finally, learn how to use its help feature to access more information. So, let's get started. Once the PagerDuty for Google Chat app has been added by your admin to your domain, simply enter at PagerDuty from inside of Google Chat to add the app to the space you're working in. And this will kick off the setup flow. The first step is to connect with your PagerDuty account. Simply add your user credentials for PagerDuty and sign in on the PagerDuty website. Now that you're connected and back inside of Google Chat, next you will configure your notification settings by entering the command slash PD settings. Here, you can simply click create new settings. Select the PagerDuty source you want to receive notifications from and click save. Now let's see how notifications are automatically sent from PagerDuty to Google Chat. I'll create a new incident in PagerDuty. I'll just give it a title. And then back in chat, I can see the incident. And in this case, I will take action on that notification by acknowledging it. Next, I will add a note to the incident. And notice how this note immediately shows up on the PagerDuty website as well. For my new incident, I will create a new space based on this incident and invite the relevant team members to help me address it. Note, since this is the first time I'm using the app, I will have to grant permissions to use it. And now I'm able to add Joey and then Kyle to a new space so we can discuss the incident immediately together. If I view members, I'll see that they're already part of this dedicated space. Let's now create a PagerDuty incident right from within chat. Type slash PD trigger, and then go through the flow in the dialogue to create the new incident. You can also resolve any incidents directly from the chat app. I'll resolve the incident I just created by clicking the resolve button and see how the status updates. You can also paste in incident links from PagerDuty directly into chat and they will automatically preview the information regarding that incident right within the chat space. Finally, here's how you can use the help command to learn about all the features that the PagerDuty for Google Chat app can do. That wraps up this short how-to video for setting up and using some of the key features of PagerDuty for Google Chat. Stay tuned for other how-to videos of more of your favorite tools that integrate with Google Workspace.